Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you that one thing that every GTI and golf owner has always wanted for their car. Okay, maybe not. Welcome back and thanks for being here. I have been interested in doing some camping for quite a while. I did a little bit on a bicycle. It was basically what's known as an S24 O, which is a sub 24 hour overnight. And so in, in that ride, we basically did, we rode 50 miles to a destination, camped overnight, and then turned around and rode back. It was an introduction to bicycle touring and camping. And I don't want to say that I've been bit by the bug, but I've also taken an interest in watching some overlanding videos. And those have inspired me to get out and do some things. And so um, I'm not going to just run out and buy an expedition vehicle or even a Jeep or a Forerunner or anything like that. I would I need to make sure that I like camping before I try to invest in any of that stuff. So I want to try some camping still. I didn't do any last year because things just didn't work out. But I am still outfitting and getting stuff and hope to get out there soon. So that's a long intro for hey check out my awning. But I said that I've been watching some overlanding videos and one of the channels that I watch is called Soft Roading the West. And this guy uh, explores BLM land and national forests out, out west in his Subaru Forester and he does pretty well with it. And what he did was he, he shared his do-it-yourself awning and his design, he credits two other people for giving him ideas and he implemented some of those ideas and did a few things of his own and then I watched his video and said hey I like that I want to try this but I like this from the other guy's video and so let me show you what we've done here. The foundation of the project is a piece of one inch PVC. Uh, this started off as a 10 foot long section and then I cut it down to 78 inches. So this is a 78 inch boom. And then inside is what originated as a 10 foot long piece of three quarter inch conduit. And I've trimmed that down to 78 inches as well. And then I have these quarter inch keepers to keep everything in place. And so when I take the cap off, uh, I take off all three of the keepers and then I extend my boom out to about 10 feet of width they're all marked with holes and so this pin here becomes the center of the 10 by 10 awning and then I lock the awning into place using these keepers so this is like I said the foundation of it all this is the boom and carrying the boom on my car is what I do differently from soft roading the west he's got a, a homemade rack I do not I've got this rhino rack and you watch my channel, you know that I'm the king of cling. I like the king of cling. I am the king of clean, and I like things to be very tidy in my installations. And so what I have chosen is, here's my Rhino rack, and I have chosen this Yakima um, top grip. And this is designed for holding shovels, axes, and paddles, and things like that. It's lockable. And then all you do is open it up, slide, I slide the boom in, and then I can close it and lock it, and that's it. It doesn't get much cleaner than that. I'm not terribly worried about somebody stealing my $15 boom. I guess with my clips it might be $20. But maybe I am. Around here, people will steal anything that's not bolted down. So I lock it just as a matter of principle and to uh, make sure my work doesn't disappear. But if it disappears or gets broken, it's very inexpensive to reproduce. So the rest of it is basically this uh, tarp system by, I got this one, this is again by Software in the West, but I got this NU 10 by 10 tarp uh, is the basis of it. It comes with the tarp and some, uh, ooh, it's loud, some poles. Uh, there's enough poles in here to make two six and a half foot tall uh, peaks this again for making like a lean-to or something like that and this also comes with some both cheap stakes and some nice stakes in their own little baggie here uh, and it comes with eight guy lines uh, these are a little thin 
they, they do the job, don't get me wrong, but they get knotted up so easily. So I'm going to look into some, maybe some thicker ones. Not because I need the strength, but because they're just easier to work with, I think. Now, initially, I did not intend to use the poles that came with the Anu tarp. And so I got my hands on some Anu expanding poles. I like them a little bit better. They're just, they're quicker. And um, my first experiment with them, um, I don't remember if I said this already, but the GTI is not a very tall vehicle. It's not even as tall as a Forester. And so uh, soft roading the West, when he sets up his tarp, he's almost able to stand under it. I think he can stand under it. He's a little shorter than I am. I think he said he's 5'9", 5'10". I'm six feet. And with the GTI being only this tall, I can't stand under that, right? And so then what I did was um, I went ahead and used the second set of poles. Uh, these Anu poles that came with the tarp, they'll go up to six and a half feet. So then I used that to make a crest in the middle and I could walk under it and stand under it. And that was the ticket right there. Adding two more poles to the mix and then two more sets of guys that made everything more stable. And then rainwater can run off of it and everything is better. So. I'm going to try this on my on my first outing. I haven't even taken the GTI on a on a camping trip yet. My bicycle has been on more camping trips than my GTI. Go figure. But I will. This is my setup. Um, I've been playing in the background a um, a video clip of me setting it up. And realistically, I can set everything up in about uh, probably 10, 15 minutes tops. And, and things didn't go very well the very first time I set all of this up because I was in a somewhat of a windy environment. I was experimenting with something different when I ran the boom out. I didn't secure the center pin. And so when the wind caught up underneath the tarp, it pulled the boom back in a little bit and just made everything a little bit wonky. And, uh, and then I wound up knocking it down, looking a little clumsy. But that's all part of the learning process. But now if I needed to set this thing up, I think I could do it in about five to 10 minutes if it's windy, it might take a little bit longer. And if it's windy enough, of course, I wouldn't even set it up because awnings just don't really work in the wind so well. But I think I have a very good start for my supplies for camping. Um, I think all I need to get at this point is a, a tent. I have some light cooking stuff, a one burner stove. Two would be better, of course. I'm, I'm no chef, but I would start off making easy stuff. I don't know. Tell me what you think. As far as that tent, do any of you camp in your GTI or golf? Um, do you sleep in the car with a tent, one of those uh, car tents attached to the back? Do you do a standalone tent? I considered a rooftop tent, but that's a lot of money. I don't want to dive into expensive stuff initially. I want to make sure I like it first. And is this a, is this a lifestyle that I think that I could embrace? And uh, I'm not really sure yet. I want to experiment. I'm in my 50s and I haven't been on a good camping adventure since I was a kid. So basically I was being supervised by my parents. And then I had some adult supervision when I went on the bicycle trip a couple of years ago because it was a couple of seasoned uh, touring uh, bicyclists teaching others how to do it. It's kind of an introduction to it. And so... Uh, I haven't done anything without some supervision, but I'm going to get out there and do it and see what I think. And if I like it, then the next step in that process would be to get a more capable vehicle. I mean, sure, I can do campgrounds in a GTI all day long, but my goal at some point is going to be to hit the trails and get out and see some cool things that I cannot see from my GTI. Anyway, tell me what you think of all of that. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, post in the comment section below and so far, I'm able to answer all comments, and so uh, I appreciate hearing from you. Next week, I think I'll be able to share with you more about the ham radio, my progress. I have made some progress on that. I might have hinted to you that I've done some expansion, and uh, you'll be intrigued by that, either impressed or what the hell is he doing, because it's, it's a little out there for a GTI owner, but check it out next week. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you next time.